Yesterday, we discussed the video that Trevor Bauer put up fully exonerating himself, and I wanted to see how mass media was going to end up running with this, and I wanted to see if there are any more developments, and by God, my curiosity was rewarded, just like my total skepticism of this entire situation. Lo and behold, everybody who looked at that and was like, eh, the claims aren't really adding up, were once again vindicated, but as the media is going to go ahead and run with this, Trevor Bauer is not going to get a fair shake. He's not going to have an easy fight to get back into Major League Baseball if he ultimately wants to end up there and it's going to be total ass cancer if he ever does get a another chance in the league. Ex-MLB pitcher Trevor Bauer accuser uh, reach settlement in a legal dispute. There was also another suit that was out there that uh, also got settled as well but why don't you want to go out with the video that was released as well because that kind of was the tip off point when everybody knew that the settlements had been reached but oh, okay cool how are you gonna how long is it gonna take for uh, Sports Illustrated the you know the the trusted rag when it comes comes the sports reporting eventually get to the juicy details former major league pitcher trevor bauer and a woman L lindsey hill lindsey the drunk hill and a woman who accused him of beating and uh, essaying her in a uh, 20 uh, 21 make sure that you get to those false accusations first though good on you there sports illustrated and who wrote this up okay a reprint from the associated press fantastic sports illustrated couldn't even be bothered doing their own journalist anymore uh settled their legal dispute bowers attorney said monday both of their representative uh, both of their respective claims have been withdrawn with prejudice effective today meaning that it's not going to be retried the former Former Los Angeles Dodgers pitcher was placed on administrative leave by Major League Baseball in July of 2021 after the allegations were made by the woman. Yes, the lies were said by the woman, ergo the White Knights immediately descend, so, uh, who said Bauer uh, assaulted her on two different occasions at his home in Pasadena, during which she uh, said began as consensual encounters between them. Yeah, exactly. And then also, as Trevor so nicely provides the video of her right here, and go ahead and play it as her laying in bed sans any of the injury smiling showing no well outside of probably you know maybe just some dissolved fillers but no no no, no swollen lip you know sleeping right next to him obviously with his hands still around her neck you know still trying to choke her out with her own hair and all the other crap that she was alleging at the time but yeah, the 32-year-old Bauer denied the allegations, saying the encounters were consensual. So we're one, two, three, four. Okay, prosecutors decide not to file charges in February of 2022. Yeah, that was also after a restraining order hearing where the judge looked at the evidence and went, no, this is absolute total cap. I have no idea why she would bring this to begin with. Not even meeting that astronomically low barrier of entry when it comes to proving that you need a uh, protection order. Should have already knew that something was up on that one. Bauer was suspended in unprecedented 324 games by Major League Baseball, and the ban was reduced to time served at that point in time. 194 games by an independent arbitrator going, you threw the book at him? You, okay, that is the longest, the longest suspension, including PEDs, outside of like Pete Rose, that has ever been handed down. For what? For lies? For verifiable lies. For the fact that Trevor Bauer had to stay fucking silent for years he had videos he had text messages okay that yeah uh i'm going to his house on wednesday i already have my hooks in you know how i roll sharing screenshots he's worth 51 million dollars bitch you better secure the bag yeah who's my next victim yeah next victim star pitcher for the dodgers no like this was a concerted effort and you're not even going to bother getting to this okay Bauer sued the woman, and she countersued. Oh, their settlements called for no exchange of money between the parties. Oh, okay, the woman will receive a separate three hundred thousand dollar payout. So again, she ends up secure in the bag. Trevor Bauer ends up spending millions of dollars on legal fees, has his career ruined, has his record-breaking contract, which I think got overinflated a little bit yesterday by saying two hundred million dollars. But yeah, a hundred million dollars. It was thirty million dollars plus for all three seasons. But still, he had all of that torn up. He has to go over to Japan, which is still, you know, a reputable league, in order to continue his professional career. And what does she get? $300,000 and just nothing but glowing coverage from the media. Oh, we can't even name somebody who has been a victim. She hasn't been a fucking victim. Lindsay Hill, former Padres girl. For, former... 
bath storage for Fernando Tatis Jr. Who's your next victim? Who's your previous victim as well? But yeah, it takes them how long? How long? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine paragraphs. Nine fucking paragraphs. Most people, most people have toned off the article at this point in time. Clicked somewhere else with some booby chick in the fucking thumbnail before they even get to a snippet of the video. Quite frankly, regardless of the outcome in court, I paid significantly more legal fees than Lindsay could have uh, could have ever paid me in her entire life. And I knew that would be the case going in. Trying to paint him as somebody who was also just looking out for the money on this. Uh, Bauer said in a video statement, but the lawsuit was never about the money for me. It it was only a way for me to obtain critical information to clear my name. But yeah, we won't even bother running with any of the evidence that's out there. Part of the settlement terms, Bauer said he retained his right to speak pub or publicly about his case. Yeah, exactly, because, you know, he had been under a gag order because this was an ongoing investigation and well he didn't have a ability to speak out on this until he dropped this video right here and you know what uh, elon musk fucking elon musk man who has been blowing it up recently i know he like owns the platform and anything that he tweets out is going to be newsworthy but he's really been going in on a bunch of different topics and really noticing some things so i'm glad that he chimed in on this one but okay were her lawyers aware she withheld evidence well guess what now we have somebody who obviously committed a crime as opposed to somebody being alleged to have committed a crime it appears as bauer uh responds to this it appears her lawyers had the evidence the entire time <sighs> speaking specifically about the video of her lying in the bed next to me with no marks on her face in the morning after she claims I brutally attacked her. An email containing that video was sent to her attorney, Brian Friedman, before the DVRO, Domestic Violence Restraining Order, hearing in 2021, and that was over, and that was never turned over to us. Huh. Huh. Perhaps that's, or perhaps that's why he insisted on adding his name to the released party section of the settlement agreement. There was also a 12-day span of text between Lindsay and two of her closest friends immediately following the incident that were deleted. Oh, okay. You know, so fucking little, you know, aspiring uh, Lindsay Clinton, I see. We asked uh, them for the discovery for the DVRO, and they were never turned over. This argued uh, that uh, uh, they must be turned over in the DVRO proceeding. Yeah. Uh, they were not. Lindsay Hill's other law firm, Meyer, of course, Olsen, Lori, and Myers, of course, again, LLP, who co-represented her thought, or throughout the, co or the court process, sorry, had them the whole time. He had to go to a settlement. He had to file more civil suits against Lindsay and her representation. And then also another one against Molly Knight and the Athletic, which wasn't referenced, but, you know, as, as a guy with a bit of a memory, I seem to recall this as well, and Jack Basobic, shout out to him for recalling this, and uh, taking a look at the uh, Athletic Settlement, journalist, journalist Molly Knight, formerly the Athletic reporter that pitcher Trevor Bauer fractured, oh yeah, reported that pitcher Tr uh, Trevor Bauer uh, fractured the skull of Lindsay Hill. At the time, uh, the Athletic had copies of Hill's medical records. Oh, uh, which showed that there was no fracture. She reported it anyway. Yeah, within the days of the complaint filing the petition, the restraining order against Mr. Bauer on the online sports news website, the athletic and former employee Molly Knight uh, defamed Mr. Bauer by creating and spreading a false narrative that Mr. Bauer uh, fractured the complainant's skull. There's no basis for this assertion because the complainant's own medical records, which the athletic possessed. <sighs> showed that there has been no such fracture nonetheless consistent with the prior and subsequent uh, expressions of animus towards mr bauer the athletic and ms knight public or er, publicized this false attack which was picked up and further disseminated by or er, to a larger audience by other media outlets and social media sites yeah that's what we're getting right now when it comes to Sports Illustrated, the Associated Press, everybody running with the narrative that, oh, he just settled with his accusers, meaning, oh, he just admitted he was guilty. No, no, no. There's a video, a very well watched video and a very well responded to video because, oh boy, a lot of people are taking Trevor Bauer's side, including Elon Musk, who's asking the important questions. Wait, she withheld evidence. Ooh, that's kind of, um, kind of like illegal and shit. Well, so was also creating false allegations. But yo, man, 
man, now with all of the information out there, don't know how well that'll translate to getting another Major League Baseball job because, well, they're totally fucking out of touch with reality. Well, you might have all the support of the people online and, you know, all the people who supported you back in the cut. Now there's going to be some people that are going to be going out there yeah, just d with a fine-tooth comb in order to figure out who exactly Lindsay Hill is. And, well, who is she? she's a drunk and a degenerate, man. She's just out there causing fights, picking fights with everybody, and, well, it's it's kind of hard to watch. Me too. Actually, fuck you. You need to go. You need to go. You need to go. Hey, don't do that. Metro's coming. Well, I want to make sure that nothing happens. See, for everything that she's done, now this is just going to go on and she's just going to try to justify her fucking whack behavior. I think we've all probably been around a woman who's done that a time or two at a concert or something like that. That's clearly in Nashville because when the security guards come over, they've got little Nashville predators, which is also apropos in this situation, little logos on their shirts before they escort her out somewhere else and she continues to cause a fuss. But as she's drunk or maybe she's on something else, but she was out there lying to everybody, man, uh, lying to her sponsor that does she take responsibility for her actions does she feel bad about setting up trevor bauer completely ruining his career nah not really at all she's just gonna once again like she said okay who's your next victim oh star pitcher for the yeah, for the dodgers oh really huh but you know what for all of those faults for everything terrible that she's done for the fact that she's a Bud Light supporter that's probably the most grievous offense that she's committed so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time I've been Don Consuelo I want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone